Hey guys, Hui Raptor with step 11 of how to assemble the Diva Black Widow. In this step, we will assemble the control box. So gather all the acrylic panels and the bag with all the screws, spacers and nuts. Start by removing all of the protection covers out. And we will fast forward this part. Let's lay down the base and attach the side clear panels. Then attach the back and front panels. Now get the red panels and attach them to the sides. Get the M4 screws and nuts and put them in place. Remember, don't over tighten them. For the difficult areas, get a small piece of painter's tape and use it to put the nut in place. This will help a lot and speed up the process. The main switch is a cool rocket type, but it's only rated for 12 volts DC. So I decided to use one that I had here laying around, but it's rated for 220 volts AC instead. This new switch is a bit bigger, so I had to enlarge the hole.
Next, install the LCD. You need to pull out the knob first. With the display in place, put the knob back. Install the main power connector at the back. You will need to work on the electrical connections, crimp terminals, set up some cables, and it's easier to do that before installing some of these parts. In this video, I will only show you how to assemble the control box and where all the parts go to. And I will show you my setup, which is a bit different. All the electric connections will be shown in detail in the next video. Install the fan and check the airflow orientation which is marked with these arrows. The kit includes spacers for the fan, but I decided not to use them. Get the long M3 screws and spacers and place them on the right panel. Now, install the main board followed by the external MOSFET.
Last but not least, the power supply. Save the foam that's inside the package for later. It can be used under the printer to reduce noise and vibrations. Before installing the power supply, it's very important to check the input voltage selector. Select the correct voltage for your country. Place the power supply and find a way to hold it in position while turning the control box upside down to tighten the screws. And this is how it looks like with all parts assembled. In this example, the electrical connections are yet to be made, as I explained earlier. The original setup has some flaws. One of them is the display cables that need to go all the way to the back. And they must not be too close to the power supply, or they will pick up interference that affect the display. A lot of cables need to go front and back and getting a clean setup is not easy. For all those reasons I decided to change everything and create my own setup. Let me show you what I did. Take the side panels out and stack them side by side. Use tape to prevent them from moving. Drill the same main board and MOSFET holes on the left, red and clear panels. Place the power supply laying on its side and mark the holes on the right panel. Be careful, try to avoid the TiVo letters. If you're starting from scratch, assemble everything in the same order. This time, the main board and MOSFET go to the left side instead. and the power supply is installed on the right side.
the benefits of my setup are more free space for the cables which means a cleaner and easier setup high voltage connections are on the bottom side and low voltage on the top side the main connectors on the main board are now faced to the back side and now the LCD connections are faced to the display you get more free space for the drivers to allow a better cooling and that's it this is the assembly of the control box don't miss the next video